Hi Leos, welcome to your messages from your angels. This is a general read. It's a timeless read, so you can see it whenever you see it. If it resonates, it resonates. The message is for you. So let's see what's going on with Leo's. I will leave the names of the decks of the cards I use in the description box, along with information on how to contact me for personal readings and other services I offer. Okay, so let's see the messages from your angels here. And we have, you are a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all its inhabitants. So you are a light worker. You may be um, just becoming into your divine work and um, your divine path. You could be switching careers and things like that. Um, a lot of people will think, well, my work is not a like worker. Maybe I sell shoes. But because you're in a shop, you will meet lots of different people every single day. So you don't have to have a job that's, you know, like a priest or a nun to be a light worker. Whatever your calling is, whatever job you're in right now, that's where you can do your work from. You're right where you're meant to be. Okay, separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So you could be separated from a person or people that you love at the moment, Leo. Very soon, clearly decide what it is you want so that it comes to you now. Okay, guys. So you may be in separation, but something's about to happen here. Something's about to change. So let's see. Unrequited love. Okay, so there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So maybe you feel like, you know, you don't want this person anymore um, or they've communicated that to you. So at this moment, that's why you're in separation because at the moment there isn't enough attraction and chemistry to keep it going. So decide what you want so that it can come. If you decide you want this relationship to work out, then you have to decide that, look, I have to work on the passion. I have to work on, um, you know, <clears throat> your efforts or their efforts. They have to decide or you have to decide very soon so this can be fixed, okay? We have the Emperor jump out and the Queen of Cups straight away here and the Hierophant here. So it could have been a Taurus, an Aries, um, a water sign here, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, any of these signs that you was dealing with. Um, but I feel like you've learned um, a very harsh lesson in love here. It could even be like a parent or uh, with the Queen of Cups there that you have learned difficult lessons this way through love like i said it don't have to be a romantic partner maybe it's people's ego people being very strict with you so you could have had a very strict parent um or you know your parents are very strict on who you should be with and things like that because some people as we know um their parents won't let them be with certain people or you may have felt your parents marriage or lack of a marriage affects the way you loved today as an adult so here i'm seeing a lot of stubbornness um with the emperor here so i feel like somebody loves you a lot but they're too stubborn to say it um and like i said if it was a strict parent it's not that they didn't love you i feel like they probably wanted the best for you but it might have even come off abusive here um but it seems like you're in separation because somebody's too stubborn to say what they want, their feelings here. Somebody, it could be a marriage as well with the Hierophant. Somebody may want to marry you and they're just keeping their feelings to themselves. You may be married um, and, you know, together, but feel like you're separate because, you know, 
you're in the same house, but if you're not communicating and the relationship ain't going great, you can feel separate, you know, like you're divided, like you're unwanted. You could feel unwanted by this person, even though you're with them. It's their stubbornness to communicate with you here. Ten of cups, yeah, so it could definitely have something to do with family, home, um, but this is like emotional stability so it's like there's a lot of love here you may have you know we rely on parents as children to give us that love and nurture um, us with love to grow strong and learn how to love ourselves. and if you didn't get that from a person uh, from a parent who has been very strict with you but loved you nonetheless maybe they didn't show it but because they it was being very strict they wanted the best for you here it may affect how you love in your adult life now, okay? You may have abandonment issues. You may feel like, well, you know, if my parents didn't love me or my parents' love was like this and our relationship isn't, it means there's no love. But I see a lot of love here. So I feel like you've got to decide, you know, do you want to continue giving your love to this person whether you're with them or not? when they're not speaking up about their love or has this relationship already come to an end because tens are about endings completions okay so it could be that a cycle ended with somebody and you still have a lot of love for them right and this person just made you feel unloved though so you felt like the love was unrequited you had to move on eight of swords so if it's not you who's constantly thinking about them, they're constantly thinking about you, how it ended. Um, they're thinking about you in separation. This is a lot of love that somebody's too stubborn, can't say, so they end up being stuck. So it ends up looking to other people like you don't love them because... You're too stubborn to show it. You may feel, well, every time I've shown it, you know, um, something has happened and my love's no longer being requited. So I feel like stuck between if I give my love, then this person could walk away. If I don't show my love, this person will probably still walk away. So you feel like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place here. Catch 22, we call it. So you could be thinking a lot about this person, even if you're um, not with them, you're separated from them. It's like every lesson you learned here was, it could have been like a mother figure or, you know, an auntie or something like that, that was very strict, um, kept you sort of close to them and not let you explore so you don't know how to um, express your love properly so you may want to go ahead and express your love but you just don't know how here yeah five of swords difficulty communicating the love and ace of wands difficulty communicating that you want a new beginning you want to try again a fresh start maybe it's pride that's in the way here but you know you're like i don't want them but you still think about them all the time Five of Swords is Mercury, and when Mercury in re is in retrograde, this is why we see this difficulty and misunderstanding in communication. So this is why you feel unloved or they feel unloved, but there's actually a lot of love here um, because of the misunderstanding in communication. With the Ace of Wands, there will be an opportunity, um, like an olive branch, to reach out to spark or initiate a conversation or a meeting here with somebody that's always on your mind again we have cross watchers so it might be um a leo who's going to reach out to you the wheel of fortune and the queen of swords so if somebody was very cold with you um that's about to change now it's like I've learnt my lesson, I could lose you here. 
if your pride's in the way and my pride's in the way and we both refuse to talk to each other, how will there ever be change? So it's like somebody's had a light bulb go off in their head with the Queen of Swords. How will things change if we're both, like, refusing to talk to each other? We're both stubborn here. So here it shows that fortune favours you. Karma favours you right at this time. You, you're learning quite a lot here <clears throat> going through this situation. So I feel like you're getting a lot of divine messages as well. Um, so it's not just you overthinking. These thoughts that are coming to you are from the divine here as the queen of swords. Uh, so I definitely feel like, um, say the queen of cups is somebody who loves you. Um, the queen of swords could be the energy that you're in or your moon signs, of course. Um, but I feel like it's, you could have been quite cold. This person might have been stubborn to say they love you, so it's made you go cold and want to cut them off to sort of save save pride or ego here with the emperor. Could be a age difference here, but the main thing is there's a lot of love and, you know, two people thinking about each other while in separation, both feeling like unloved and wanted, the, but both actually loving each other and wanting each other. So... Showing up as both as queens, you're on the same like vibration. One may be using their head too much and one may be using their heart too much. So one could act over emotional and one could be very narrow minded in thinking, OK, this is the logic. They haven't contacted me, so I know they don't want me. So I'm moving on. I'm not talking to them first, you know, but how can things change? And somebody's had that epiphany. How can this Wheel of Fortune turn around if we're both basically butting heads? If nobody's going to take the leap of faith, if nobody's going to be um, the bigger person, how can we do this? King of Pentacles. Okay, so it could be that there's three people involved here. So maybe one of you are married. Maybe they left with a third party, right? Um, because we see the... There's regret here. There's separation here. And you've had to learn how to take care of yourself and um, put yourself first all your life. So this is why you now don't want to, um, you know, make yourself vulnerable to somebody who could have chose somebody else or just chose to leave or is choosing to not tell you their feelings because they're being so stubborn and arrogant here. It could even be you, Leos. Well, it definitely is. It's like you're mirroring each other. You're on the same vibration. Um, but like I said here, it, this third person could be somebody who could help you communicate. So maybe you don't have each other's numbers anymore and there could be a go between. So it's not necessarily this is a third party. A mother or a father could be the third party that destroyed the relationship, right? So it seems like there's somebody kind who can help get you two back together. I think it's time to stop thinking and stop tying yourself down with thoughts and take action with the Ace of Wands, guys. Good luck.